ओके टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द पैलेट नेम कॉल स्कैटर गैदर पैलेट दिस इज द पैलेट नेम स्कैटर गैदर पैलेट what is the purpose of scatter gather is i have some common data the data which i am going to send to the multiple target system parallelly i'm collecting the all the target system target system output and making as a single message that is nothing but a scatter gather palette means one to many same message sent to more than one systems and after sending the data to the more than one system collecting the all the target system response and making as a single message that is nothing but a scatter gather palette so before i have a, i have discussed about the choice palette choice means this is condition based palette here also we are going to define more than one target system but if a condition is success only one target system is going to be executed and transfer to the next output to the next palette but if any none of the conditions are satisfied then go it go it is going to the default one only this is nothing but a choice palette but scatter gather palette this is the name called scatter gather palette the purpose of this one if you defining example set payload and set payload sorry okay if you are defining means here yeah, the example if you are sending same message set payload message this is the message if you are defining this message is going to be sent to multiple target systems and this this target system this target system and collecting the two set payload data and making as a single message that is nothing but a scatter gather palette choice palette is condition based palette if the condition is satisfied it is going to the one target system and collect the data and transfer to the target system but here if if we are defining more than one target system all the targets and conditions are not satisfied then is going to the default one but when comes to scatter gather there is no default one the request is going to send to parallelly more than one target system and collect in the all the target system output and making as a single message that is nothing but a scatter gather palette okay choice is scatter gather both are palette look like similar only but the difference is choice is condition based palette only one target system is going to be executed the condition is successful rest of the target systems are not executed when comes to the scatter gather all the target systems are executed parallelly and collecting the output and making as a single message that is nothing but a scatter gather palette the name is called scatter gathering the all the output and making as a single message okay this is nothing but a scatter gather palette okay. this is the name called scatter gather i am going to show you the example example you can take one set pillar more set pillar okay i'm going to write i am fine example any message up to your wish means this is the one 
one message I want to collect and this is the one I want to call this message. These two messages I'm, I'm going to making as a single messages. Single messages who will take responsible? Transform messages take the responsible. Transform message is the palette where we are going to do the like a transformation what we are discussing last uh, last week only the transformation and the list of operators by the this uh, this this type of implementation if you want you can go for the transform message only now my requirement is i have defined something in the set payload and also this set payload so this set payload also i have defined some define something and i want to collect the two set payload output and making as a single message making as a single message means we are going to converting merging the data to set pellet data we are going to merging only so merging means obviously array format only with comma separated so now i'm going to converting as a json format okay json format and two set payloads both are in independent both are currently independent now my requirement is i want to making as a single message only single message is collecting merging two set payload data as a single message which Keyword which the data we operate is going to be supporting supporting name called flatten. Flatten is the keyword. The purpose is making as collecting the all the messages and making single message only. Flatten is the responsibility to merge the arrays only. So if you want, I will show you that data we operator. See, this is the flatten. And you can see the example of flatten of array of array. Inside I have an array. I want to make it as a single array. You can see flatten. This is one array. And this is one array. This is one array. This is one array. There are four arrays inside flatten. And finally you can able to see single array only. So these are the list of operators. Okay. Data view operators. If you want you can go through the operators here only. What is the purpose of operator? Just to select this one, they are giving the example. They are giving the example. What is this uh, ends with? Because this is the string, and I want to end with this one only. The condition is satisfied. This is going to be true or false. Like this, each operator they are giving the some example. Frequently, some of the operators which are going to implementing in real time projects also. Currently, which operator I am going to using? Flatten is the operator. So flatten is the purpose of I have a combination of arrays. I want to making as a single array only. I want to making as a single array only. Now my requirement is scatter gather is going to be collecting the all the target system response after collecting on which format you are expecting to display to the target system. I am expecting array format because I have two arrays. Then which array is which operator is going to be supporting? Flatten is the operator. <laughs> Flatten means it is going to merge two arrays and making a single array only. So scatter gather is collecting the all the target system response. Then the display part is taken care by transfer message. How I am going to display to the target system? Okay, I have a two arrays. Then okay, then you want to match two arrays. Flatten is the keyword, predefined keyword. This is the one. Flatten is the keyword. If you want, I'll show you. See this example flatten array of array array of array means a single array. I have a multiple arrays. I want to make it as a single array. So this is the one flatten. So now flatten. Okay, now I want to match it only, right? Because there are two set payload. If you want to, if you are defining set payload data and you want to retrieve the set payload data in the some other palette. What the mule expression language syntax is payload only. So payload. Okay. And dot dot payload. We need to use this one. Dot dot payload means this is the entire set is storing in the payload. And you can move to this one only. So that is the reason we are going to use the syntax called dot dot payload, which is available right side. Always I told you, right? Source system. Go to the target one. So dot dot it is going to be supporting here. Payload move to this one only and within the bracket i am going to keep flatten the same syntax which i am following here within the bracket so right side part is coming from the source and it's moved to the target one so it is going to be merging 
a scatter gather collect the data after collecting on which format how i am going to display to the target system i am expecting as a array format which data we operate is going to supporting flatten is the operator flatten is the purpose means sorry Okay, flatten is the purpose means I've, I have a combination of arrays. I want to make it as a single array. So that is the flatten keyword. Now I'm going to apply the flatten keyword. Collecting more than two target system and this is the party display part. Now if we want, you can run the flow. Select running mode. Just go to scatter. Go to the postman. Seven four nine six flash scatter. See, this is one message. This is one message, and each message I'm going to separate with comma and making as a single array. So here there is no limit. If we want to define n number of, if we want to define n number of messages also. You can define here. Just restart, and you can send a request. See, means this is the one message. This is the first set payload message. This is the one message. This is the one message. This is the one message. This the pilot is responsible to collecting the all the set payload messages. Now I, my responsibility to collect the all the set payload messages. Then this part is the display part. How I am going to display to the target system? I am requesting to the target scatter gather to display the array format. Who will take care? Flatten talent. Flatten is the predefined keyword which is supported by data view and the flatten. The purpose of flatten is combination of arrays making as a single array. And after flatten, what is the syntax? This is the one. Payload. Payload means I told you right. While writing data, we code. Right side part is coming from the source. Left side part is going to the target system. So entire all the data it is going to be available move to this one. So it is going to move to the right side to left side within the bracket. So after converting, then we we are getting the single message. This is the message which are you getting. The same see data uh, scatter gather. If you want to elaborate more, then I'm going to modify an example. Okay, just remove this one. Okay, now I'm going to select a transform message example. Here yeah, I'm writing something message. Name example. Okay. okay, this is one message. See now, there are three messages which I have written the transform messages and collecting this one and again making as a single message. This is more. This is another palette. How we are going to do it now? 
see this is one array this is one set of object this is one set of object three set of object which i have collected and making are this one and more means i don't want to array symbol i don't want to array symbol i want only key value means now this is also you can define i don't want array symbol Okay, just to restart. See, this is also. And one more, or else, if you define in the subflow or private flow, if you want to elaborate, then then delete this one as well. take one flow reference the same example how there are multiple ways we are going to implement only flow reference and collecting the data from the subflow or private flow flow And if here, if you define the payload, this is the set payload. And whatever the content you want, you can write it here. Welcome one, two, three. see the same example i'm going to write in multiple ways this the flow reference is going to be called to any one of the subflow means example scatter together two then scatter together three four three Now restart it. Just stop the flow and restart.
Not apply. Send a request. See. So there are multiple ways only. The same palette if you want, you can define in the size categorizer also. Or else, if you select the flow reference and internally, it is going to part the subflow or private flow and collecting the data. After collecting, which format you want expecting? I am expecting as array format. Which keyword data we could keyword is going to be supporting? Flatten is the keyword. By using the flatten, we are going to making as a single array sum. So this is the purpose of scatter gather. Very frequently, frequently we are using this one only because usually we are going to communicate in the more than one system only. Normally, that is also parallel. Choice palette is working as a condition based. But scatter gather, there is no condition. Communicate sequentially or parallelly, multiple system and collecting the data and displaying as a single message. This is nothing but a Scatter gather palette. Any doubt here? Okay. So if you want to practice yourself as a data view operators, because there are plenty of operators are available. They are given us some example here. Example, this is the concatenation. And if you want, you can go through here. How to apply the concatenation? Concatenation appending the arrays only. There are two arrays. This is the one array and this is the single array and making as a single array but plus plus is the concatenation. Okay, the same way minus minus means remove the array combination of arrays which is available two arrays and minus minus is the keyword. This is one array and this is one array. If you want to remove combination means equal one to one to then what is the result is zero only. The same way if you want to apply and your data we code just go through this one and take the same example you can do yourself as a practice because this is what i if i am expecting two is available then what is the return type is either true or false contents is written return type is true if the condition is satisfied that condition is to go to the successful one otherwise failure i am getting the one array i am expecting whether the so on so element is available then root to the target one otherwise fails is the contents is the keyword like this if we want you can apply all these are data view operators only so this is the trim is that to reduce the spaces trim is the reduce the spaces reduce the space. trim is this is trim and this is the space which are coming from the source system and if you want to reduce the space go for the trim it reduces the space only like this, each apply, take one element, apply for the uh, data view operator, then you can see the output only. These are the list of operators which are using. Just whatever the operator you want, practice, you can practice. If you attend for interview, they are not asking for the uh, all the list of operators. What are the list of operators which you are applying in a project? At least you can remember 20 operators. Then later, whenever you get a free time, then you can do practice only. Because all the list of operators syntax behavior that is very difficult to remember. At least you can remember the 20 operators. What we discussed map operator and uh, uh, a distinct operator. These are the operators which are using last week we had discussed. And if you want to learn more, then these are the document. Then if you search in the Google data view operators, mu4 operators in mu4, you can search. And go to the mail document and go to the core and these are the list of operators here 
if you want to get the match value, max value, minimum value, mod means the dividend divided by value. See, this is the A, this is the A, max value is 1000, B, 3, C, which is 1, 3.5 is the max value. So if you want to get any max value, what is the keyword? What is the data we operator? Take one simple element and apply for this one and it will get down. So all the operators that are very difficult to remember only. More than 100 plus operators are available. At least you can remember 20 operators only. What is the purpose of this one? Just like this you can apply. Anyway, they are giving the some input example and output example. How we are going to apply? That is the syntax we should remember only. Then whenever you are the same requirement if you are getting the project, you can apply. Then we'll get the results. These are the list of data view operators to implement in your project. Any doubt here? Okay, this is also scatter gather very, very frequently, which we are using the scatter gather project and the choice palette also that we already discussed. Okay, now coming back to the any point platform now. Now, till now, we are into the AnyPoint Studio. AnyPoint Studio till now. AnyPoint Studio is the purpose of to design mule flows only. Okay, now coming back to the AnyPoint platform. AnyPoint platform. This is completely cloud-based applications. This is completely cloud-based applications. The purpose of AnyPoint platform is to design APIs, okay, to design APIs, to deploy your application in the cloud environment, in cloud, okay, to provide security, to monitor your application performance, Okay, to design APIs, to deploy your application cloud, to provide security, to monitor your application performance, how the performance is going on, and etc. So this is the purpose of AnyPoint platform. AnyPoint Studio is the completely development part. And after development, you are going to deploy and you are going to apply security to monitor your application performance, to design APIs, then go for the AnyPoint platform. AnyPoint platform is a completely cloud-based application. No need to install any software admission. It's a cloud means it's a web-related application only. Just to enter the one URL in the browser, it will display your sign-up details, login with details, and you can do whatever the changes you want. This is the purpose of AnyPoint platform. As I told you before, this is a for lending purpose. Means of provide every user has a one-month trial version. After one month, they are, your account is going to be expiring. Again, you are going to create new account and you can start your changes only. But this is the learning purpose only. But into the project, it won't expire because they are going to buy the product. There is no expiry only, but in the real time. But real time and free, what is called paid one and open source, what we are learning, there is no difference only. Same editor, same tabs. Don't think like if you are buying the product, the changes are uh, very high. If you are into the uh, trial version there is no much changes only so both are in the same structure same options only whatever we are doing here the same you are doing to the real time also so how to deploy provide security to design APIs, how we are going to learning here the same you are going to do in the project also but same editor same tabs there is no difference only paid and trial version only the difference is your account is going to be expiring after one month but in the real time project they are going to buy in the product because this is a completely cloud-based application. Cloud-based applications that is a very costly, most expensive only. So that is the reason every user will start giving the one month trial version only. Okay, how to log into the AnyPoint platform? Go to the Google and you can search like AnyPoint platform. Login, any point platform.
and you can just sign up with your details what is the name you want you can give it just like this And just accept. So this is the AnyPoint platform. There is no difference only trial version and the paid versions only. Both are in the same view. Okay. If you open this one, if you open this one, AnyPoint platform, there are multiple tabs are available in the left side. Are here all the same? There is no difference only. Okay. There are Design Center, Exchange, Access Management, API Manager, Runtime Manager. Monitoring. These are the tabs are available. Frequent as a developer, which are using the design center, exchange, API manager, runtime manager is a very very important as a developer. The rest is the monitoring and the support team will taking care of. Okay. As a developer, these are the four tabs are using frequently. So what is the purpose of design center? Design center is the tab is useful to to design your APIs. What is API here? APIs are nothing but a application programming interfaces. Application program interfaces. API nothing but a application program interface. The purpose of to design the services as a reusable component. To design the services as a reusable component. To implement the services means of support the concept called API. Application program interface. The full form is what is the purpose means reusable component. One time you are going to creating, you can reuse it multiple times only. That is the purpose of API. To write an API means of support the language called RAML is the language. By using RAML, by using RAML, we are going to creating the API. Only. REST API modeling language abbreviation is REST API modeling language. Okay. REST API modeling language is the language by using this language we are going to implement the APIs. APIs are nothing but a abbreviation is application programming interfaces. This is nothing but a reusable component. In the market APIs are implemented in different different languages but means of support the language called RAML is the language. By using RAML we are going to implement the APIs. Okay. So design center is the tab is useful to design your APIs that is nothing but RAMLs. Okay, then next tab is go back. Exchange. Exchange is nothing but a, I will show you what the purpose of you click on exchange. There are plenty of palettes which are available in the exchange only. Millsoft already published palettes. So don't think about the only these are the palettes which are available only. There are plenty of palettes also available where if we want to import that palettes in your studio, go back to your any point platform. Sorry. This is the exchange. Go to all assets. So these are the palettes only. These are the palettes which already published in Minsoft. So it's still loading. Still loading. Okay, if you want to download the same palette in your studio, just click on any palette randomly if you want S3 connector. Click on this one and download. If you select the download, it is going to be downloading as a zip file. And the same zip file if you want to import, go to studio, help, install new software, and click on add and local right at click on rk the one which are downloading right we can browse it the same palette is going to be importing in studio this is one approach and the second approach is i am not logging to the anypoint platform i am going to download from studio itself only then go to search in exchange it is asking for the your anypoint platform account just you can select the account details 
whatever the account which you are creating any point platform right the same you are going to giving username and password welcome 19 which is my account welcome 19 just click on save now what are the connector you want you can enter amazon s3 example amazon you can enter like this is going to be searching in the exchange which is available i think i entered the wrong syntax see so the same connector which is available here mail 3 or mail 4 which connector you want you can select just click on here it is going to be if you click on finish it is going to imported importing from studio so there are two ways we are going to download the palettes which is not available in the studio already and all the palettes are available in the exchange only so very frequently we are going to import in exchange also based upon your requirement so first we are going to verify in the studio itself if it is not available definitely is available in the exchange there are two ways directly go to the anypoem platform click on exchange from there you can select the palette what are the palette you want click on download it is going to be downloading as a zip file go to the studio help install new software browse the file and download that is one approach second approach is i am not logging into any point platform just i am going to download from studio itself then this is the tab is available just log in with your credentials uh, any point platform credentials with your username password and what are the palette you want you can enter it will display the list of palettes only that related name that is support with the mule 3 and mule 4 as well which connector you want you can select it and reuse the invoice to you so that is the purpose of any point platform in exchange and exchange also in exchange also whatever the apis that is nothing but rammers after creating we are going to keep the backup in the exchange okay all the apis are after designing the customers are requesting to keep backup in exchange only this is specifically for your organization this is my organization details this is my organization details the same way in your project also they are going to creating with account the organization details only. so each organization whatever the changes we have done they are going to keeping as exchange only and moreover there are plenty of operators connectors also available if you want you can download all the list of connectors in exchange and if you find some examples also in exchange sometimes people are writing the examples mule flows i am talking about they are going to publish in the exchange like a kind of forum also people are considering the forum also like example any thing if you want you can search like any any service or anything these are the examples only okay xml only web services then just this is a simple talking about here they are giving that some flows also if you want to download the same flow in studio just to download it the one which i explained right the same we are going to download from the studio also so this is kind of a forum and open source also open means all the people are able to access and if you want to create your own organization also only your team members able to access also then they are going to creating with organization details where we are going to keep all your backup only that is for restricted for your organization only other organization people are not able to see that okay that is nothing but exchange only design center is the tab where we are going to when we are going to uh, like write the apis and exchange is the tab where we are going to maintain all your uh, apis as well as if you want to download other palettes from exchange then you can download only okay that is the purpose of exchange and one more tab is access management access management the purpose is so how many users are ac uh, accessing this any point platform with your organization what are the roles of this user example read access right access the list of users and this user what is the is the read access permission what is the right access permission so kind of things which you are configure under access management only admin can able to access this access management because currently you are the owner only so you have a full rights but in real time any one guy is going to maintain any access management if you are into the project he is going to giving the permissions only 
because that is a paid versions right so that is the reason so if you see here roles how many users because currently i am the only user i am the currently i am the only user but i fan to the project so you can register your name and i am giving the permissions to the list of tabs only access management is nothing but who are access in the applications is the owner or permissions read access right access this kind of things and and the environments also which is available currently design development environment and sandbox in testing environment but in the real time they are going to maintain development testing and production environment so all the admin kind of roles which is available under access management only okay and other tab is api manager api manager manager is the purpose of to provide security on your api as i told you right here security to provide security on your api api manager is going to be supporting okay api manager is going to be supporting apm this is called other name called uh, api administrator also api administrator also the calling as api manager or api administrator the first one is design center to design your apis by using raml raml nothing but a rest api modeling language the exchange is list of connectors are available if you want you can download and also if you want you can maintain all your apis in exchange nothing but a backup then go for the design center api manager is nothing but a to provide the security or their other name called api administrator runtime manager means where we are going to deploy our application in cloud environment where we are going to deploy your application in the cloud environment then go for the runtime manager so as a developer these are the tabs which are using frequently design center exchange access management only admin real time only but you do not have permission for access management and api manager runtime manager and if you want to monitoring all your apis performance then go for the monitor currently this is a trial version they are not giving any permission you do not have a permission only but in real time you are getting a permission only but in monitoring means only chart how the performance is showing the chart this kind of information which you configure here only and visualizer uh, we are not working on visualizer so this is the production sandbox environment only so because this one also we do not have a, a, like permissions only this is the only uh, paid versions only they are giving the visualizer this all comes under charting uh, the, like performance point of view visualizer and everything comes under okay as a developer design center exchange api manager runtime manager the four tabs is required to learn the any one platform the rest everything is a admin point of view now we are in the developers no worry about that but we are not doing any manual things here only just view part is uh, this monitoring and uh, uh, visualization okay and these are the four tabs is required access management also you do not have real time you do not have a permission so one guy is maintaining so anyway you fear in the project this tab also not visible for you they are going to restrict this tab so this is nothing but any point platform by using any point platform we are going to implement this all the changes only So any point today is the editor where we are going to develop our new flows. After developing new flows, you want to deploy your application in cloud. You to choose this option. If you want to provide security on your API, sorry, uh, your application or API, API manager, and this is the services. So design center means API nothing but a services. Services the purpose means reusable component. so one time we are going to create we can reuse it multiple times so which language is supported means of raml is the language by using raml we are going to write the api so any doubt here so one month after one month whatever the account which i created today right it is going to be expiring again i am going to create new account and able to access but the data is available but only read access after one month i am talking about after one month whatever the account which you are accessing previous month right data is available if you want you can able to see that but you can't do any changes only because they are going to restrict the write permissions only so that is the reason you can't do after one month only read permissions 
and how to write the apis okay first of all go to this one design center okay if you click on this one create new and you guys sorry create api specification and give the name of your services okay any services product service example product api this is the structure only we should follow the structure this one the raml which version we are learning 1.0 version before 2 years ago 0.8 is available no worry about that now you are completely concentrate on 1.0 from the more than 2 and of years 1.0 version only okay so select the 1.0 version under design center create specification so after creating after enter the name there are three tabs are available this is the left this is the place where we are going to writing the api this is the place where we are going to test your apis right side corner is testing the your apis after designing and here the place where we are going to writing and this is the place we are going to display the structure your names and everything on how to write the raml raml 1.0 rest api modeling language this is the title name of your services name of your services services means what we are writing right in the services only request and response we are writing what you are doing what you are fetching there is no business logic the business logic if you want to implement the services again coming back to studio again you can start the development so parallel is studio and platform parallel we are working now now completed till now we are into the anypan studio now anypan platform is we both are working like we are working as a parallel design apis import the studio again development start so again other palettes what are the palettes we are learning and we are going to learning other palettes as well by using apis okay please remember both we are using now any point platform as well as any point studio so only the purpose of api means apis are services what we are going to writing in the apis by using raml means request and response example i have i have an employee and i want to fetch the data from employee information i want to fetch the data means i'm going to pass some input data by using input data we are going to fetch the information here input is request output is response request whatever the request you are passing as the employee id that is the request input parameters and after passing the data and you will get the response that is a employee information response that is nothing but a response before receiving the response how we are receiving what format we are receiving what is the structure of the employee response that we are going to defining in the apis what input parameter we are passing that is the employee id or a combination of employee id or employee name these are the input parameters that is nothing but a request these two parameters are considered as a request uh, by using this request the system is going to fetch the end, uh, that, that specific user response only that is user information only in the response what information we are going to writing how we are receiving what is the structure of the response and what is the successful uh, the success or failure uh, before re receiving right we are receiving the success or failure if it is failure how we are going to routing if it is success how we are receiving these kind of things which are going to define configure under ram so after request and response we are passing then do the testing then you can start the development in studio only okay in studio only we are going to start the development okay how to write first raml in design center first this is the raml version this is the title then coming back here url services are accessing via urls only through online only so if you want to pass any url in raml there is a predefined keyword called base url the base url you are going to pass your dummy url proper time me slash api 
these are the predefined keywords these are the predefined keywords the keywords which are going to learning and which scenario which keyword do i need to select okay once this is the header part this is the header part now coming back to body now in the product api what it is going to do product is the services what this services do the services do if you want to uh, get the data means which data is already available if you want you can retrieve and you are going to insert the data and so on so system uh, and after that if you want to update the data and you want to delete the data anything if a data if you want to insert you can insert by using the raml or if the data is already available if you want to delete you can delete the raml data also modify and edit also we can do that now this is the header part now product api is the api name what this api will do this api will do example this is the syntax get get product this name called resource this is the name technical word called resource what is resource which i mentioned here get product get product is your name system can understand how system can understand what this resource will do means we need to mention get method get method rest these are the apis will support to the connector card http is the only connector it is going to be supporting because this is a nothing but a rest based service rest based service is going to be supporting apis the rest based supporting we are going to implementing by using raml okay now in the rest i told you that rest based service which is going to be supporting http connector http connectors there are plenty of like mechanisms to consume the data to insert the data to update and delete that name is called method this is called http method so if you open the postman we are using the methods this is called method get means get the data post means insert the data put means update the data delete means delete the data which is already available now this is apis will support the http connector only now we are following http standards to write your apis okay to write your apis this is your name get product is your name but system can't understand after putting the name method then system can understand okay this resource is going to do the fetch the information from the particular system now this is get method now after getting means okay get is to retrieve the data how i am going to retrieve the data do are you going to pass any input data by using input data it is going to be fetch the information now product id i am giving the one product id take this product id by using this product id you can return the response okay our product name also i want because data is already available in the system and you want to retrieve the data this is the product id okay directly we cannot pass the product id okay we can pass via there are multiple ways we are going to passing input parameters in the rest based how we are going to passing one is query parameters that we already discussed before one is uri parameters uniform resource identifier this is a dynamically we are going to determine third one is headers if we if we want to pass input parameters by using http connector there are three ways we are going to passing one is query one is uri one is headers only. now we want to let to know the system we are passing the input parameters via either of this one okay method is a get method i am going to fetch the data because if we want to fetch the data are you providing any input parameters yes i am going to provide the input parameters that either query or uri or header is the, that is up to your wish but this we are using the http connector http connect there is a standard keywords only we should follow the keyword then only we can pass the data then what is the keyword now query parameters under query parameters you want to pass your input parameters only one is example person id and if you want to pass you can pass n number of query parameters and if you want you can select the data type example 
this personality is the string or integer or something okay this is the personality data type of all data type also if you want to define if you are not define anything system consider as a string only if you consider means then it will taking as a based upon your data type okay by default string then query parameters you are passing the input parameters then i am going to passing then after passing click on enter then data is going to be fetch the response that is nothing but a response response means you can see the where i am going to keeping the response under query parameters only select the response if you are move keeping here definitely throwing an error only sometimes okay just you can maintain here only response then enter see these are the status codes http status codes what is the http status code each status codes per person if you want to learn http status codes see what is 200 what is 201 what is 2 300 like this you want you can learn from here see 200 2 okay 203 300 400 these are the standards of http we should learn the some of the status codes also okay now we the api will support the http connector what http connector standards we should follow now we are writing the apis by using the raml this is the raml is the language so raml will support http connector now we should follow the standards only now response okay after receiving the response if it successful how system can understand if this is a successful response this is a failure response based upon the status codes only then 200 is the status code you enter the 200 200 means what is the meaning of 200 here okay okay means successful 200 and then okay agree how we are receiving the data we are receiving via body what format you are receiving as a json what is the structure of your receiving this is the example the example is json right you can define here cloud back json structure i am passing the input okay by using this input i am fetching the response the response is 200 what the status successful code if i receiving as a successfully 200 and how we are receiving either body via body the body what is the structure json structure and example this the one see we should maintain this is the standards only and this is the space each line we are going to maintain the some space here if we are defining something then definitely if it's showing error on see status code response must be value between 100 and 59 so please remember okay this is the standard we should follow on this is nothing but a very basic grammar this is nothing but a very basic grammar now you can define here structure example json structure right person id 01 okay person name anything whatever name you want you can write it something like this you can define the structure only you can add a number of elements also person address like this we can add the response body now i am going to explain one more time this is nothing but the version the purpose of this one is apis what we are going to learn in apis how to write the apis means of support the to write the apis language called raml in apis market in the market there are plenty of languages are available but raml is the language by using raml we are going to writing the apis on which version of API, raml you are learning 1.0 version okay then this is the title this is the service api nothing but a service but this is a service name only and if you want access to your service this is the url this is the dummy url now what this service is doing the service we are doing multiple ways we are doing the service currently this service is doing the product information which is already available i am going to fetch that in. so this is the resource name of your resource name because this service will do multiple operations 
get product is the resource name that is you know the name of the resource but system can't understand what it is exactly so after putting the get method system can understand yes i am going to fetch the data from the particular system okay get the data means there are two ways we are going to fetch the data which data which is already available you want entire data i mean this is one approach second approach means i don't want entire data i am expecting some particular data particular data means we need to pass some input data input parameter by using this input parameter we are going to fetch the data how we are going to passing directly if we want if you are going to enter the name system can't understand system will understand by using these three parameters these three syntax we are passing the system can understand yes they are expecting via query parameter they are passing input then by using this input i am going to get the data if you are passing via your parameters yes so source system sending the input data by using ui they are sending the data by using ui then we are fetching the data the same way so currently i am going to using here query parameters query parameters so in the query parameters i am passing input parameters this is person id so there is no limit if you want you can pass multiple n number of query parameters also then okay i am passing the input parameter then click on submit the data is going to be fetching particular system response that particular system how you are going to implement it? that is your business logic that business logic we are going to implementing in the studio only so he, i told you right in the raml we are not writing any business logic only request and response we are going to write it this is the request this part is complete request part this part is complete response so request and response we are going to writing in the design center that is nothing but apis by using this request and response input data and output we are going to implement actual development part that where we are going to develop, develop actual development in studio only again we are going back to studio by using the services we are going to implement your development part is it clear now once you return the services and before start the development i want to test with the dummy input and dummy output then go back to mocking services here mock mocking service is the useful to test your ramals in design center by with dummy input and dummy output not in the actual input and actual output so before start the development now how i am going to do the testing right mocking service then click on this one if you click on this one automatically one url get generated i told you that all the services are running in the network only so this is nothing but a mocking url if i don't want mocking just click on this one revert back again if you click on mocking means mocking is enabled mocking is purpose of mocking is to test your design to test your raml with a dummy input and dummy output then mocking is enabled then click on enable get method click on try it what is the input parameter we are entering dummy input right any number you want just click on send what is the output which are fetching this is the example i am expecting see what is the status code 200 200 means okay 200 means okay and what is the response you are expecting this is the response which is already our configured in the example so by using your input data input parameter system is going to be returning whatever the response body this is the json structure status code 200 the meaning of status code 200 is okay and it's a body application json what is the structure you are expecting this is the example this is how we are going to test your raml in the design center by using mocking after creation mocking is completed then you can uncheck the mocking i can revert back yeah revert back see again coming back again you want to previous view just to go back here click on summary this is a normal view again you want to mocking just enable the mocking automatically one url get generated here this is the nothing but a mocking url click on get click on try it and to pass the input parameter once done again revert back unmock the url then go back to summary this is how we are going to test your uh, apis after writing in design center any doubt here okay once you can 
develop your RAM alpha. This is very basic RAM. Okay. Then again, you want to start the de development. What is the development here? Just you are passing in dummy input and dummy output. Where we are going to fetch the data and which system we are going to communicate to fetch the data, actual development part. That again, you can go back to studio. You can start the development. How we are going to develop, right? Just once you develop your RAM and mocking also complete, completed. And you want to maintain backup, right? I told you backup. If you want to maintain all your APIs in backup, then go to publish. Publish means publish to exchange. Publish to exchange. Click on exchange. It is going to be publishing in your API in exchange only. Just to give the any asset version, any name. Okay. P1, then publish to exchange. XYZ format. So successfully published exchange. If you want, you can see, you can see here. Got it. See, this is your API. Again, you want to test your API also, you can able to test here also. Get product, get method, and person ID, dummy data. This is the okay. See, this is the exchange which is available. Again, all assets, asset list. See, this is your API, product API. Who published this one? Mother. I am the person. I am the owner of this API uh, platform. I published this one with product API. Again, you want to test, which is already published. Again, you want to test it. Just to click on this one. And this is the resource. Get method. Endpoints and you will get the data. And this is the endpoints. This is the endpoints and the, uh, under endpoints, this is the list of our resources. I don't want endpoints, which just there is no endpoints. Okay, this is the summary. This is the summary that we discussed today. Right? Again, click on summary. This also, if you click on summary, also you can able to see. Get method, send the data. Okay, this is exchange also because sometimes, right, some other guys develop the APIs and after that they are going to publish an exchange. Then uh, the suggestion that right? we already developed the APIs and published the exchange only. Then you can download from exchange and you can start the development. There are two ways. Why you are going to write your APIs in design center and you can start the development. Some, some, some scenarios means some other team member implement the APIs in design center. After that, they are going to publish all the APIs in exchange only. Then they are, they are going to sending a mail. I, we already done the changes. We already uh, implement the APIs which is available in the exchange. Just download it. And you can start the development. How we are going to download it? Just click on download. As a RAM, it is going to be downloaded as a zip file. And the API design center also, if you want to download, then here click on this one, download project. The both are same only. Here you are going to download from the design center. Exchange you are going to download from the your API. Okay. Now both are same. Now after downloading, now you can start the development because we are passing input and we are getting the output. We are now we are going to fetch actual output. Then go back to studio, go back to studio, go to file, new, new project. Again, any product or something, anything you can enter. Product API one and go to specify API definition file URL. Just select this one and browse this one. Browse files, which is already downloaded, right? Just to browse these files and go to downloads. This is the product API. Product API, product RAML, anything you can select it on. Okay. Finish. See, after finishing, these are the palettes got generated automatically. You are not creating anything. These are the palettes got generated automatically. Where we are going to start your development. So where we are going to start your development means we are passing some input parameters, actual input data, and we are getting the actual output data by using your RAML. After importing, right, your RAML also available in the studio itself. It's as main resources. If you click on API, whatever the RAML which you have defined is automatically imported in the studio. Okay, 
this is how we are going to writing our raml in the design center the mocking publishing exchange and exchange itself also if you want to contest your raml and the same if you want to import from exchange into studio also you can download the project okay any doubt here okay if you are fine i'm closing today we'll discuss tomorrow with the development part okay i'm going to explain what are the pallets got generated after importing all the pallets what is the purpose of this pallets also then after uh, explaining i'm going to start the actual development if you have any doubt you can let me know in the nature of the work also in the office same uh, writing the api in the design center publish exchange import the studio after importing this is the default structure then you can start the development this is the day to day activities okay this includes data we also different different pallets we are using here okay any doubt okay if no i am closing today we'll meet tomorrow thank you